Those of us who have spent most of our lives in India have watched men from all over the world come here to hunt the tiger. They come for many reasons. Some searching for tiger, others searching for something within themselves. One such hunter was this American. He came here with his unhappiness, hoping that in the jungle he would find a solution. The doctor Saab has made his kill. Tiger, but get away. I got one of his claws. Here, keep it for luck. I'll have to call it a day. It'll be dark in a few minutes. Sab, a wounded tiger. We'll start back. But the tiger, now that he's wounded, think of what might happen. I know what'll happen to us if we're caught out here after dark. Can't be responsible for every tiger in India. Come on, let's get started. Those just tie them up in a bundle. They're all yours. Thank you, Dr. Sarf. Have a drink, Doctor? And thank you, no. I have to get back to my patients. It's been nice having you here, Dr. Collins. A pleasure. I appreciate your hospitality. Well, it's not very often I have the opportunity to meet a physician from New York. Are you going directly home? No. I think I'll try the hunting in Sumatra. After that, I don't know. But I'm not going back home. See, big game hunting in Manhattan is pretty limited. What about your practice? I'm giving it back to the natives of Park Avenue. I've retired from the medical profession. I'm sorry to hear that. There's no great loss. I never was a particularly good doctor. Just a successful one. Not that there's anything wrong in being successful. Or making a lot of money out of medicine the way I did. Matter of fact, perfectly frank with you, it's very satisfactory to be called one of the top men in your field. But there's other elements, other factors. Doctor, I believe you have malaria. Yeah. I felt it coming on. But I thought... Well, you're the doctor. As I say, I'm no longer practicing medicine. Get some help. The 
missed a tiger today. Easy target, too. I guess I was overanxious. But some little mosquito, without even a rifle. Just as men struggle to exist day by day, so does an animal. <laughs> a wounded tiger, unable to outrace the jungle alarm, cannot capture its natural prey. hunger does not permit him to rest and recover. His once sleek coat loses its luster. His desperation grows. And soon the beast begins to seek food that is less able to elude him. some hurts in a man that cannot be seen. He will hide his wounds from others as well as from himself. It is possible for him to run away from his past. It is possible for him to say, I will forget that my wife left me and took my child. It is even possible for a man, unlike other animals, to destroy himself. One who comes from other places cannot grasp the way men live in these hard hills. Yet they will not yield a foot of their land for anything less than disaster. the chart says. I've been in bed too long. For me, that's bad medicine. Remember, I'm the doctor here. Yes, doctor. Don't be surprised if I sneak out in the middle of the night. I would not recommend it. For the first time in years, there's a man-eater terrorizing the vicinity. He's already killed two in the foothill district. Three days later, he wiped out a family on the ridge. Night before last, he killed a farm woman just three miles from here. Oh, I don't think he'd care for me. I'd probably give him indigestion. Dr. Saab, you have very little interest in my people. Why, I have no more, no less interest in them than in any people. No offense, Dr. Saab. By the way, I read my chart. You did a good job pulling me through. Thank you. You think it was worth
worth it. You should know that a doctor has no more, no less interest in one patient than in another. Bye, doctor. Thanks for everything. We who have observed the tiger know that eating human flesh improves the sheen of a tiger's coat. That these animals never again return to their natural food. We also know that once a tiger has been attacked by a man, that man forever remains the beast's mortal enemy. People in India will tell you there is a great difference in the men who hunt tiger. Those who have a strong will to live are the best hunters. They value life, and this gives them a strong sense of impending danger. Depending on this place with fresh water. Cholera? No, I don't think it was that. But the people. By the looks of that grain, I'd say they went on to better land. In the Kuman Hills, all the land is the same. Stop worrying. I'm just as anxious to get out of here as you are. Get my medical kit. Exhausted, hungry most likely. Get some milk quickly. There's no fever, no bones broken. Side, maybe he's from that farm. He may have got lost when the people went away. Safe. We'll push on till dark, then make camp. And then what happened? After the tiger had killed Minnie, then killed my father, my mother brought me there. 
Well, she thought someone might pass and take us with them. Then when we had no more food, she went back to get some. And she told me to stay hidden until someone came along and to go with them if she didn't come back. I don't know if you're going to cry. You won't be able to tell us your name. Benoit. Benoit. That's a nice name. Champawad Village isn't very far from here. Have you got any people there? No one anywhere. Bit out of our way, but we'll have to take him there. We start in the morning. Life in these villages is as changeless as the Himalayas themselves. On the surface, life seems to be peaceful, with time for laughter. Come back! Come back! You've got to be safe! Come back! But underneath, there is still a struggle for survival, always present, never forgotten. Lali! Yesita? Did you go to the spring again for water? Well, the water at the spring is so much colder. At this time of the year, the men in the village will be out on the gaunt terraces, planting the new grain. From these tiny patches of earth, worn smooth by a thousand years of tilling, a whole community must be fed. Father. Yes, I know. You're always looking for her. But we have work to do. Well, I haven't seen her for a long time. How long? Ten minutes? The others will laugh at you. I don't want my son to be laughed at. Hmm. It's been longer than ten minutes. This is not the time, not the place, to think so much about your wife. I can't stop you from being a fool. But I can't stop you from being one in public. Yes, Father. you a cold drink. Where did you get it? I didn't see you at the well. Ah, you've been looking for me. How many times must I tell you not to waste your time and your wife when you should be working? Gangaram is right. Women should know their place. Is it wrong to think my place is with my husband? Forgetting the water. Forgive me, Father. It was my fault. I shouldn't have come. How many times must I tell you not to disturb your husband when he's working? Now, don't look so sad. And don't look so happy. Women, must you always make trouble? And will I be so much trouble when I've presented you with a grandson? My grandchild will eat like a young bullock. We've got to prepare for his appetite.
Go on with your work. I'm Ganga Ram, the leader of the Champawat village. I'm Dr. Collins. I'm an American. Welcome, Dr. Saab. I was on my way to Kathgodan, then to the coast. But this is not the road to Kathgodan. I know. I had to come this way because of this boy. Who's he? He's all that's left of a farm near the crossroads. The cholera? No, I found him alone in the jungle, starving. I brought him here because he's a Kumani like yourself. Why is he alone? What happened to the others? The others ran away after the tiger came and killed my father. I'd like to leave him here with your people. What if the tiger should follow him? I found him quite a distance from the farmhouse. You've nothing to fear. Nothing to fear? We have no hunters, no guns in our village. Well, I wish I could help you, but I already made my plans. I understand. We know how important a doctor's work is. What is to be, will be, it is written on our foreheads. We will take care of the boy. Please, Father, let him stay with Narayan and me. Maybe he'll keep you busy while Narayan is at work. If the tiger comes, you have a gun. You're a hunter. Please don't go away, Dr. Saab. Come, you don't have to be afraid with me. He needs plenty of milk and a lot of food. I'll take good care of him, Dr. Saab. Please, I want to go with you. You can't, Panwa. Panwa, is that your name? Come, Panwa, don't you want to see your new home? Goodbye, Lita Saab. Careful, you might fall. But I have to help you. Oh, I'm It's just a water jug. Not any of your little bones. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha! 
Dr. Dr. Saib. He can't be very far from here. Dr. Saab! Dr. Saab, come back. My wife is sick. Well, take her to the district hospital. She's been hurt bad. Well, she's seriously hurt. She should be in a hospital. Oh, it's too far. I think she's dying. Look, they've got the equipment to take care of her there. I've only got a small kit with me. Oh, please. She needs your help. She was attacked by the tiger. Tiger? I can't do anything more for her now. She'll need me later. If she becomes restless or makes any sound, you're to call me. I'll be in my hut. How's Lolly, Dr. Saab? Is she going to live? I've done everything possible. She's got an even chance. And the child?
she's past the crisis. She'll live. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Get some sleep. A less complex man than John Collins would have reduced his problem to a simple decision. It was not that he questioned any longer that it was his tiger. He knew that he was responsible for it and that it had taken many lives and might yet take more. In the eyes of the community, he was guilty. In his wife's eyes, he had been guilty too. She had accused him of not caring. But what was there to care about? All his life he had seen men creating war and destruction. He could not believe there was anything about them worth saving. I'm not the only one that ever wounded a tiger. Are you going to let him get away? Aren't you going to follow him? I came back here to help your wife, not to go hunting. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life stalking tigers. We will try to catch the tiger in our own way. Gather the men, have them build deadfalls. Yes, Father. When I go, I'll leave the necessary medicine for your daughter-in-law. The boy Panwa will be the best medicine for her. She'll need a child to love. Now she can never have one of her own. That is grave news indeed, Dr. Sai. I'm sorry. I did the best I could. I'm sure you did. Have you told her? No, it's better to wait until she's stronger. She will have to know. And so must Narayan. She was a good wife and a good daughter. Was? You talk as if she were dead. In our way of life, she cannot fulfill her duty. Narayan will have to marry again. But why? We have no choice. Not I, nor Narayan, nor Lali. Narayan must have a son, and I a grandson. Narayan will read the prayers when I die. And there must be a son for him to read the prayers after his death. That is what we believe in, Dr. Saab. What about Lali? She will be thinking only of what is right for Narayan. Simple as that. Her feelings, her love, her life. All of that doesn't count. We cannot afford the luxury of being selfish. You think I'm selfish? Because I won't put myself out to kill a tiger that doesn't mean anything to me. Do not blame yourself too much, Dr. Saab. What was done, you have done because it was written on your forehead. I will tell Lali. No. I'll tell her. Feeling better? I was talking to your father-in-law just now. No, I won't be staying here much longer. So I... I thought I ought to tell you. You're a better patient than I am a doctor. What was it you were going to tell me? Well, uh, you've got to be careful for a while and, and take care of yourself. That's all. No, Dr. Saab. You were going to tell me something else. You wanted to tell me I'd 
never be a mother. You're alive and you're young. Soon you'll be completely well. That's all that matters, nothing else. But I'll never be a mother. Is that what you were going to say? That I'd never have? Yes. I wish I could be your bearer. You'll make a good one when you grow up. If I ever come back, we'll get together. Hand me my medical kit from the bed, will you? Tanwa, you like Lally, don't you? Oh, yes, Dr. Saab. I want you to be with her all the time she's getting well. Will you remember that? Yes, Dr. Saab. Please don't tell Narayan until I am ready to leave. It's my duty to tell him now, but if you want to, you may tell him yourself before you go. Thank you. Here, let me help you. Thank you for staying with Lolly, Father. Have you finished with the dead falls? Yes. In the morning, we will stake out goats as bait. Mm. When I saw Dr. Saab, he said, you're going to be all right. He did? Yes. Did he say anything else? Isn't that enough? Soon you'll be able to come out to the fields again while I'm working. And interrupt your work? And make Gangaram angry? He'll get used to it. You'll be making him angry that way for years to come. Oh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan, my husband. You go to bed now. You've been up late enough. Everything's ready for morning, Dr. Saab. We won't be leaving for a while. Our friend is hungry tonight. He is still following you, Dr. Saab. Following me? He had any sense he'd avoid me. We've known it to happen before. A tiger will not forget the man who wounded him. Thank you. 
In the earth, in the pug marks that had led to his door and to no other, John Collins could read the truth. Last night, the tiger had come to kill him. The hunter had become the hunted. He remembered the words of the village leader. It is written on your forehead, what will be, will be. He knew now that from this challenge, there was no escape. are perfect. That's him. He's near. Quickly, get branches cover up a pit. This is a female who'll come to her. circling the area, but he's on his way to her. Now, back to the village, all of you. Back with the others, Narayan. I work better alone. I promise not to be in the way. You'd be better off home with your wife. We have a whole lifetime for that. The important thing is to get the devil tiger. I would like to be here. Oh, <laughs> Get high on that tree over there. Don't make a sound. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. 
It's good to see you up and about. Thank you. You look fine. Don't go too far from the village, will you? Dr. Saab. Yeah. I'm going to leave Chamberwood. You've told Narayan? No, not yet. Tell him. It's not easy. He won't let you go, will he? You don't understand. What is it to understand? Why are you leaving the riot? Why should you? Why should you destroy your life together? Our ways, Dr. Saab, they're different from those of your people. No, darling. All people are alike. They're born the same, they die the same, their ways are the same. Don't do it, Lolly. Don't let them take your happiness away from you. Forget about what happens to Narayan. What about yourself? How can I forget about Narayan? He must go on to his destiny. Don't be a fool, Lolly. Think of yourself. Keep what you've got. Are you telling me this? Or perhaps yourself? Oh, forgive me, Dr. Saab. You've been very kind. Kind. I'll see you back to the village.
have decided to leave in the morning, all of us. Leave Champa what? Do you always want to be hiding behind a thorn bush? Afraid to go into the field? Don't let the tiger defeat us. Our only hope is to take our women and children far up into the hills. You can't leave. Champawat is your home. My home. We cannot allow ourselves to be driven away. The night watch passed slowly for John Collins. He thought again of his wife. Once she had told him, to love deeply, you must take something of yourself and give it to another. He had never believed this truth, which was so clear even to two young people in an obscure Indian village. Try again. I'll try again. Dr. Saab, you can't keep going out to the jungle this way. You need some rest. I'll know when I'm ready to rest. You have a wife in New Delhi, haven't you, Tarasin? Yes. Well, there's no point in keeping her waiting. Tell the driver to take you home. Without you, Dr. Saab? Right. But I should wait. It isn't right for me to... I said to leave. 
I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I, I'm ready to go back and get somebody to take me. I just can't. just told me they will not go to the fields in the morning. I still hope I can persuade them. What is it now, Ryan? Lolly, she told me she's leaving. Father. What am I going to do without Lolly? I can't let her go. It is not easy to ask. But you must not think of yourself as Lolly's husband anymore. You should remember only that someday you will take my place here. That, my son, is your destiny. There is nothing we can do. The villagers will never accept you as their leader unless you marry again. It is your duty. You know how deeply I feel about Lolly. She.
Lolly. I don't know what to do. Let us read the prayers together. Sorry. Come in, Dr. Sapp. I, uh, I was wondering how Fanwa is. After everything that's happened to him, I... He's asleep. Oh. Well, you see, I was thinking about him. Well. Dr. Sapp, Lolly is leaving me. Yes, I know. That's why I came here tonight. Please tell her she does not have to leave. I can't tell Lolly what to do. I know I shouldn't ask you. You're only a stranger here. What happens to Lolly and me? Our own troubles, not yours. That's not true, Nora. A few years ago, a few days ago, it might have been. But not now. Then, isn't there anything you can tell us? We don't know what to do. I wish I could help you. But I'm a physician that couldn't heal himself. I didn't know how. You see, I never knew people, only patients. I spent most of my time trying to become successful. I built myself a set of traditions, obeyed them. But I didn't know then that success, leadership, Whatever you want to call it, has to be shared. But it has no meaning. I found myself on the top of the world, alone. I don't know how to say it. But it's no good alone. It's just no good alone. There's much help, is it? Need me for anything. I'll be around. He has told us what to do. We'll stay together. Oh, Narayan, no, I'll never stop loving you. Never. We'll leave Champawata. We'll go away. We'll be free together. No. It is over now. You must marry again, and I must go away. After what Dr. Sub just told us? He does not live according to our traditions. For thousands of years, there were no living things here. Then when we lived, we were the only living things. You and I. All other life came after us. The cow, the sheep, and now... this tiger who wants to kill us. And the doctor Saab, who wanders alone. Ryan, look. There is the moon, still as it was on the first night of creation. Many things have lived their lives here. Things that tried to live and died, and left none of themselves. But not you. I want what I love in you to remain forever. Your children never to disappear from the earth. I'll marry no other woman. If we do not work the fields, we will go hungry. We cannot let our fear starve us to death. Saab is here to protect us. Where was the Saab when Sheeta's husband was killed? That devil tiger is too smart for us. We will destroy the tiger. We will stake out bait for him again this morning. We will have nothing to do with our bait. He eats only human beings. Isn't there anybody here who isn't afraid of the tiger?
I'm going out of the house. When I leave, say a long prayer, the one I taught you. The one to God who watches over little children, that one? Say all of it, slowly. When you have finished, go to the doctor's sob and tell him that I've gone to the spring. But, Lily, should you go there? Tell the doctor sob there will be human bait there for the tiger. He will know what to do. He will obey me. I will obey you. I am going now. Then get up and dress yourself. And say the prayer. Yes, Molly. Father of worlds, all little children on earth love thee. Doctor, stop, Doctor, stop. What? Molly went to the spring. The spring? Why? He says there's going to be human bait there.
you can't go. The villagers won't let you, for because what you have done. They have demanded that... that Penwell be permitted to be our son. Thank you.